All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today's video we are going to be talking about what I think the best tank in Mad Games is. And I made a video like this uh, a while ago, uh, last time, a couple times ago actually that Mad Games came out, where I talked about what I thought the best tank in Mad Games was. Well, that was after stuff got changed around, you know, in the T26E4 Super Pershing wasn't so broken anymore, and stuff like that. So I chose the Leopard 1. Now, it's a good tank in Mad Games, don't get me wrong. It is an amazing tank in Mad Games, very broken. But the Panther 2 is way more broken, so I thought it would probably be a good idea to update that video uh, with a newer version where we have what I really think is the best tank in Mad Games. Uh, let me know if you think there's another tank better than this, but I really don't think there is. It has got to be the Panther 2. This tank is insane in Mad Games. I mean, you can ram any tank you want and you will just do so much damage. You can go invisible, which I think the invisible thing is actually better than high octane because it's way easier to control. Plus, you're not going to be shot, so you're not going to get tracked or something and then, you know, avoid or not avoid, then miss your ram or something like that. So I think it's way better to have uh, actually the invisible thing than high octane for ramming. Now, it can be nice, though, with, you know, using... Uh, high octane because you can ram over and over and over and over again and you do go faster so you can ram with more power from closer areas but you really have to be in a straight line and you're not invisible so it can't be quite it can be better sometimes and sometimes it's not as good i mean just look at that that's not even with speed boost 700 damage ram i mean it's just so broken i mean when we do panther 2 double panther 2s here you literally almost can't lose. Like, I think we didn't... I've never lost a game doing pan Double Panther 2s. Maybe once uh, once or twice where we just did really bad. But you really don't lose. It's just not something that happens that often because of how broken it is. Uh, and as you can see, this uh, replay, the first one we have right here, I mean, we're just slaughtering the enemy. We do not give a care whatsoever because we know we're just going to win. There's really no way we're going to lose. Um, I mean, we're focusing out this uh, Chrysler K here. It is a 2v3 currently, but we have no worries about losing this battle right here. And another reason I think the Panther 2 is good, because even though a lot of people in regular modes don't think the Panther 2 is that good, I actually think it's a great tank in regular game modes as well. It's a 5.5 second reload, 220 alpha. You know, that's not bad. The armor's okay. I do say the armor could be a little better for the more lackluster speed. Uh, in turret armor on this tank, but I still think it's a pretty great tank to uh, have in regular game modes. And this you probably know from my short where we just bully this IS. I mean, it's just for fun, but this is so funny. We just bully this guy. Um, if you haven't already, go check that short out. I mean, it's the same thing as this, but it's just pretty funny because we decide uh, I'm, I'm on voice call with him and we are like, hey, let's just ram this guy to death. Let's not shoot him at all. And uh, a lot of the rams aren't doing any damage because we're really uh, not getting much run up for this. I should have gone kind of what Lockjaw is doing here um, and gone to the side so I could get out of these bins back here so I could have more run up. Uh, he does uh, finally get his ability back and is coming in for a nice ram with 187 damage to finish off this battle. This was a really fun battle. I mean, all the battles in the Panther 2 in this game mode are a blast. 3,610 damage here, one kill. As well, Lockjaw got 3.5k damage this game, four kills, and it was a lot of fun. And we got to have a lot of fun at the end there, uh, bullying that, uh, that, uh, that IS there, which uh, I do kind of feel bad for him because there's just nothing you can do in that situation. I mean, he probably could have shot at us. I don't know why he didn't, uh, but he kind of just gave up at the end there. So we're going to get another battle in here, and this one, of course, it's going to be another sweep as well. I mean, that's the thing with the Panther 2. You just, it's so easy to win the battles in this thing. And here I actually do forget that this is uh, Mac Games with the Panther 2, and I pop my invisible ability uh, too early when I'm not going to ram someone. Uh, for some reason, I thought this was <laughs> another game where we just do that to get some speed going or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, shouldn't have done that. That was a little bit of a mistake I had right there. Uh, but, yeah, another thing I think great about the Panther 2, of course, is, that makes it so good at ramming is this is a very heavy tank. Of course, it's in the line that leads up to the E50M, which I believe is the heaviest medium tank in the game. And it makes this tank very good at ramming in normal battles. And when you have the rammer rig on this thing, it's 
incredibly powerful. Um, it is just basically unstoppable. So um, we do have a tank down. We actually are losing so far. Our LTTB does go down. For some reason, pretty much all the enemy team did come to this side. But, well, look what I can do. Go invisible. You see, with high octane, this would be way too hard to do because I would be drifting around way more than this, even though I am drifting around a good bit, and I would have been shot. Uh, but not with this. We did get a nice ram to the J Panther. Did not really get too much speed because I ran into that building, so we do have to shoot him twice to finish him off. Uh, but that's already 1,056 damage in, you know, pretty quick amount of time. We get a nice shot off on the STG as well, and uh, we are going to go ahead and pull forward uh, on this one. This is a funny battle. You'll see why I included this one. Uh, it's not like I get crazy good game or anything. The next one, the next battle I have is a very good game, so do stay tuned for that one. That is quite a good game that I do have in the Panther 2. But this one is just hilarious, and why? that's why I wanted to show this one. Uh, we do still do, you know, a decent amount of damage this battle, but this one's really funny here. So we are losing, obviously, we're going to lose this one, uh, unfortunately. This is, like, the one that I have lost the only one, but I go with my rim rig, I, that thing breaks right there, um, and boom, 1400 damage, an invisible kill on the Tiger 2, I'm probably going to make a short out of that, because that is very funny, uh, that was a double invisible rams right there, those are always very funny when you have those, um, and my friend actually saw it coming, because he saw those, uh, the walls breaking, uh, when the pan, uh, not the Panther 2, the Tiger 2 was running through. So very funny right there, that's why I just want to include that. And we still get 3k damage on a loss, which, you know, that's not bad at all. Uh, obviously, our team did not do too well this battle, so um, it is understandable why we do lose that one. So now we're going to be heading into the last replay of this video, which is going to, of course, be um, an amazing game, like I did say. And we're going to have a lot of fun in this one as well with the Rams. And, yeah, I mean, the Panther 2, uh, like I said, it is really just the king of mad games. There's not really much that can compete against. There's a few other really good tanks out there, of course. We got stuff like the other rammer tanks, like, I mean, the Leopard 1, like I said. I'm trying to think of heavier tanks. We got stuff like the, uh, the Synth 7, uh, 7, 5 one whatever it's called, Rack. You know that tank, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, just look at that ram, though. I mean, it's so easy. A Tier 9 medium, and we... We take what, not even 100 damage from that ram, and we one-shot ram him. 1,620 damage. I mean, it's just so amazing, this tank. Uh, that tank right there, the Centurion Rack, uh, that's what I'm talking about. That does have Rammer Rig, and it's pretty heavy as well, but I don't think it's quite as good as this one. At least, I, I'm not 100% sure. That one would be close, though, because that is a very good tank for this game mode as well. I would definitely say, but I think the Panther 2 is still better for ramming than the, uh, than the rack is. So this guy is going to get taken out, and we have already decimated the entire flank of the enemy team in under a minute. So, you know, that's pretty OP, if you uh, can't tell. That is pretty much what the Panther 2 does almost every battle. And now we do get shot by this Ho-Rai, who is camping in the back in Mad Games. Not really sure why you would do that. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and, unfortunately, he does take 500 damage right there, so we're not going to get a full HP ram, but still over 500 damage, and we only take 55 damage back, because, of course, that is just how it happens in this game mode. Um, it's, it's just, it feels wrong sometimes doing that much damage and taking basically no damage back. So now we just have three heavies remaining on the enemy team here, and we're just going to come in here and farm them. We still have a while before our ability is ready again, so not really going to be getting too much ramming yet. Uh, we do get a nice shot here on, on the uh, Maushkin here, and we are getting healed by our teammates, which is pretty nice. Of course, that's a nice thing in mad games when your teammates do heal you. So now we just have the T-34 in the VK-168 left. We're up to about 3.5k damage already, and we are about to get our ability back here. T-34 has his ability, so he did do around 600 damage to us. But now our ability is ready, so we are going to ram in. And unfortunately, this AMX does kind of ruin my ram, because now I can't ram who I was trying to rig. Ram, uh, which was the T-34, I would have done so much damage to him. Would have probably gotten like 5k damage this game. But we are still going to be able to finish him off and rack up the damage this game. Th uh, 4.3k damage this game pretty fun game. So yeah, that is the Panther 2, everyone. As you can see, amazing tank in Mad Games. Definitely one of the best, or not one of the, definitely the best tank in my opinion that you can play out there. And of course, it's nice. It is a tech tree tank, so it's very easy to get. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.